Hello every New Year's buddy, and welcome to 2014. Since it's a brand new year, there's a lot of things to say goodbye to, but also a lot of things to look forward to. And that's right, 2014 is going to be a very exciting year for gaming, for obvious reasons. So, this is an ode to series that I finished last year, and a peek at things to come on the Colby House channel in 2014. First of all, let's hop all the way back to February, the coldest month of the year. In fact, I even recorded some footage for the occasion. I completed the Fallout 3 DLC pack called Operation Anchorage. <laughs> and then toward the end of the year, I also finished the second DLC pack, which was The Pit. But the fact that I've only completed two of the smallest DLC packs, that should really serve as a testament to just how big that game really is. And then early June, I finished the second major DLC pack to The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim called Dragonborn. That was 47 videos, and I got through that quite nicely. And I think we were all hoping for a third DLC pack, but unfortunately it never came. But there were some indie DLCs that were developed and are available on the Skyrim Nexus, and I might try those in the future. Oh crap! And then sometime in mid-September, to honor Crytex CryEngine 3, I finished Crisis 3. Uh, it wasn't our favorite walkthrough, I know, but I was destined to finish it, and I did. And the main reason I finished the Crisis 3 walkthrough was that the CryEngine gives us blazing graphics, especially on the PC, and I didn't want to deny viewers that, so I... Be and also because I finished the Crisis 2 walkthrough back in 2011, I thought it was a natural sequel. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Okay. And then sometime in very late November, early December, 2K Games treated us to a Bioshock Infinite DLC pack called Burial at Sea. And it takes place in Rapture. I loved every second of it. Even though it was uh, tragically short, I finished it in about one week flat, I think. <laughs> And by the way, I definitely recommend that you watch my entire walkthrough of uh, Burial at Sea Episode 1 because Episode 2, which is the second DLC pack, should be released anytime. Any second now, ouch. And that wrapped up December, which leads us to 2014. The first thing I have to do in 2014 is finish the Bioshock Infinite main walkthrough, which I'm in the process of doing. In fact, I'm in the last act right now. Get off, okay? You say so. Now let's take a look at all of the new features and series I'll be adding in 2014. First of all, there's a very exciting game being developed by Tango Gameworks and being published by Bethesda Softworks called The Evil Within, also known in Japan as Psycho Breaku. And I haven't really added any horror flicks onto my channel lately, so why don't we do a full walkthrough of that as soon as it's released. Oh my god. And of course, the Colby House channel would never be complete without every possible installment in the Elder Scrolls franchise and excursions into Tamriel. So look for a random gameplay series of the Elder Scrolls Online. And now, since Bethesda has finally given us a release date, I can tell you now when to look for my Elder Scrolls Online series. Look for it in April. Then, in the second quarter of 2014, look for The Witcher 3, developed and published by CD Projekt Red. I will be doing a full walkthrough of The Witcher 3. It'll be an end-to-end -end walkthrough covering everything, and it's going to be bigger than Skyrim and fully open world, so we've got a lot of videos to look forward to. And finally, sometime in the second quarter of 2014, don't forget that Watch Dogs will be released. That will also be a full end-to-end -end walkthrough of the entire game. The main quest, all of the side quests, and every location to explore. Um, Ubisoft Montreal unfortunately had to delay its original release date of November 2013. Um, they delayed it by six months, and they will release it in the second quarter of 2014 and because they've delayed it they have extra time to polish it and make it the game that we're all expecting it to be
And also keep in mind that when it is released, I do plan to make it the focal point of my channel. So I'll be, this will be the signature walkthrough of my channel in 2014. So look for it, possibly as early as April. And besides all of those full walkthroughs, I'll still be doing random footage of some of the most exciting releases of 2014, which will include Wolfenstein, The New Order, Thief, which is released in February, uh, The Crew, also developed by Ubisoft Montreal, which is an open world racing game that supposedly covers the entire North American continent, uh, Dark Souls 2, I'm really excited for that, uh, and I'll also be buying a PlayStation 4, and I'll do random videos of some of the best PlayStation exclusives, such as The Order 1886, that's sounds very exciting. And besides just games, I'll definitely continue my other series like the Fallout 4 No Bowl, and I'll also be introducing a new series comparing Fallout fiction to real world nuclear science. Well, that should pretty much cover 2014. I hope that you're just as excited as I am about all the big releases of 2014, and the game industry will definitely surprise us. It would be nice if Bethesda surprised us with a Fallout 4 release this year, but it's unlikely to happen. But meanwhile, remember to subscribe to my channel, and then you'll get all of those walkthrough videos in your inbox. You can also follow me on Twitter, and then you'll get an alert every time I upload something. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.